Hey everyone, Josh here. So doing a quick video on the exhaust pressure control valve, the exhaust flap on the CJA TDI. So this should be applicable to any of the 14s to, or the 09s to 14s, possibly the 15s as well. So there's a little exhaust flap between the second cat and the third cat and it gets sticky. So this one on this car is sees open. Um, the other one I had, it was sticky. So you could hear it when you shut the car off, you'd hear it try to do a cycle. And it would just kind of creak and crack. And then you get a code after a couple key cycles that it didn't reach where it was supposed to be. Uh, there's a bunch of codes that could actually come up from this exhaust flap issue. Um, so I believe salt on the roads is the main issue with this one. Just kind of gets seeped into the shaft and then it just can't move. I'll show a quick couple ways on how to test it and see what's going on and then I physically have it off here and we'll show see what the difference is. Okay so it's kind of interesting on this CJAA so I've got I've cleared the codes and this is what came back exhaust pressure control valve stuck closed. It's also stuck open at the same time so I'm not sure what the deal is with that because it is not moving right now. Uh, so quick and easy way to test this so if you go done, go back, you can go to output tests, um, click on that and the exhaust pressure control valve. So then if you hit start, you should hear some clicking. So you can hear it inside here trying to do something, but this is stuck. Uh, don't stick your finger in here I'm just doing this too okay so i got the valve in here so it doesn't look terribly bad on the outside but you can it doesn't spring back it's kind of hard with one hand here like it's it's movable but not very nicely so i tried soaking the other one with penetrating oil just soaking it in there in there as well as inside here um but yeah the code came back and i couldn't get it to spring back how it's supposed to so a nice new one here that is the part number or supposedly is the part number so looks the same That's a big difference. So if you're putting a new one in and you live in the salt belt, uh, probably a good idea to soak that in crown or fluid film or something thick of the sort. Uh, basically to stop this from failing here again. So we're gonna plug this one in and see what it does during that test. Okay, so my neighbor's AC just kicked on here. So it's gonna be a little bit noisy, but so if we go to output tests, exhaust pressure control valve, start. It's not working okay so i don't think it liked me fingering the sensor here because i think i over centered it so then i was sending a code for stuck open so i just flicked it shut a little bit and then uh, you can run this test here again so once again we'll go back to output tests exhaust pressure control valve hit start And then if we hit stop, it goes right flat like that. So everything seems happy there now. So the sensor is good. Um, then go back, fault codes. Don't think we've got any there now for that. DPF, exhaust, temperature, and uh, Yep, I think we should be good there now. And I should also include, so before you actually bolt the sensor, you can also do exhaust pressure control valve test um, with your car. There we go. Um, with the car running. So this one obviously is not running. Um, but so at idle, 
it's gonna cycle open and close so you should be able to see that pressure climb up and down so the car with the sticky one i could see that jump up a couple hundred millibars so i don't know if it's closing as far as it should have been so i don't have a good reading for that um even the pressure was climbing but it was still sticking so i don't know how much i would trust just going off that i think it's best off to get it right out of there and have a good visual on it and see if it really is sticky so it's pretty obvious that it's not moving back to where it's supposed to be um, but anyways that's the end of this video so thanks for watching and hopefully this helped